There's a super trap that came out, didn't there? Okay. Let's get into it. All right. So, chapter 86, all out bout. So, we did cover this. We did the preview images. If you hadn't checked that out, well, stick around for the reaction. So, here we go. All right. So, Elik is bouncing out. Gas is literally turning into some berserk type of form. He's force choking Goku. Oh, he got me. He literally is picking him up like he's freaking Vecna. Did they watch Stranger Things? Bro, what? What are we doing? Bro, they... Now, they're watching Marvel. They're watching Stranger Things. Like, come on now. What are we, let's get it together here. Goku's like straight up like freaking dying. Can't even breathe. Gas says, behold, as your head twists clean. Oh. Okay, never mind. So he's trying to do instant transmission. He does it. Yeah. He, ooh. Hit to the ooh, right to the nose. Ooh, that looked like it hurt. He's definitely bleeding a little bit. Yeah, he, he got hit in the nose. Goku's like grabbing his nose. Gas ends up behind him. Gas says, I don't think I've ever felt better. Ooh, that look at that scared look on Goku's face. Oh. He says, It's as if every cell in my body is burning away, fueling me like gas all right shout outs to the name making sense a new flavor of ecstasy okay interesting choice of words there throwing goku into the nearby forest and oh whoa he's putting him in like a tornado so i remember this from the preview images gas says you cannot escape this power of mine and then he does a finger beam to Goku. Now, keep in mind, Goku's still in this um, survival instinct, as our boy uh, Jordan Lee put it. He put it so nicely in my Discord. Um, what state of Ultra Instinct he's in, um, which is like his survival instincts, which kind of makes a lot of sense. I actually would rather call it that anyway. Um, and so Goku gets grazed, right? He doesn't actually get directly hit, but it but oh oh never mind so gas is continuing on his flurry of finger beams and now goku's getting all hit okay so goku's getting messed up right now um in his survival instinct ultra instinct right and now he's in the ground he's hurting he's oh he looking pretty roughed up elix says see he gets the job done once he starts trying and then uh i forget the girl's name but she goes okay sure He's winning, hooray. Except something's kind of off about gas. Uh, yeah, it definitely seems like he's out of freaking control. So he goes to take, he grabs Goku by the neck this time. Not, not He's not force choking him, he's not vecting him, all right? And then he looks like he's about to hit him with like some sort of like key fist. And he swings and decks the shit out of him. Goku is looking like he's definitely, oh no, he's still in his, uh, uh, his his uh his ultra instinct state uh, and what here we go so let's see and the other guy he goes what's with the wrinkly look he's he's totally ancient elix says not to worry his power is very much intact in fact he's stronger than ever before so yeah i mean he kind of got wished this but i i i said there's something that is missing here i know that elik has to be up to something he's like the mastermind behind all of this so there's no way that there isn't something else going on at the same time so goku says your body and your power are way out of sync yeah i mean he looks like he's he's about to freaking collapse like this man looks old as hell so then, Gas says, my power has been liberated from my flesh. And he kicks him. And Goku gets sent flying back. Goku charges at him. But then, Gas has like a double key-fisted thing ready for him. And, oh, what do you know? There's a blast that comes in. And who is it from? Is it... Finally, it's freaking granola. Thank God. Holy shit, we've been waiting for this guy. I've been saying this, man. I'm like, you know what? I said this last chapter. I'm like, dude, next chapter, 
he needs to he needs to come through all right it's he it's he's had enough recouping time and this is his fight to win so i don't know if he's gonna win here maybe next chapter maybe chapter after that but it's it's finally time he needs to just get it done right like this arc has <laughs> let's go okay so gas is fine or i'm sorry granola is finally here we have he has his own freaking finger pointing gun right goku's granola Elix says whatever cocky of him to show up after refusing to die so he charges in wait a minute did he just it looked like he just took out goku so wait he like shouldered goku or he elbows him but he brings him like he 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 takes him like farther away from where they're fighting and then elix says ha 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 still holding a grudge against the saiyans huh smart choice there granola kill him for us and maybe we'll toss you odd jobs again I think that's not true, but that's I've obviously smart on Granola to make it look like that, right? So Granola goes here and says, as I dreamt, I too heard your father's voice. He says, now you need to let me do what I must. And then Goku's like, what? And, Gr and Granola says, are you willing to wager it all on my strength? So what's that mean? What's go Wait a minute. What's go is he about to like? Is Granola asking Goku to like borrow his strength or some shit? Hold on. So he hold on. So basically, okay. So maybe Goku's gonna act as a decoy, right? Because now he's got the he's got the double fingers. Okay, he's got the double finger gun pointing, and Goku's looking very uh. He's in there. Okay, he's like motivated. Check this out. He is looking ready to go. And that stance says, it definitely tells that story. So let's see what happens. So Elix says, ugh, Gas is still ready to fight. So, and then uh, Goku says, I'll keep Gas busy until you charge up enough power to bring him down. And then, okay, so that's exactly what's happening. So I was right. So Granola says, thank you. So Goku powers up. Gas says, not on your life. And they go off. So now Goku is continuing the fight with Gas. And Gas is still giving him a hard time, but Goku is at least getting some hits in this time around. Doesn't look completely free. Um, but again, Gas being the stronger one. And now not only does he have these key fists, he has like these key feet. Things like stomping on Goku. Oh my god, like <laughs> he freaking imprinted him into the freaking ground oh but wait a minute hold on here we go a sign of weakness from gas's body that has is deteriorating it's it's old right and he looked like he's kind of like falling apart at the abdomen it looks like he's bleeding from the stomach which is really ugh, right um and granola still charging up this beam and gas looks over and he's like no how is he doing this? How does he still possess such strength? So now he throws a beam at uh, Granola, but it looked like Goku was still able to basically deflect his beam with a blast of his own. And Goku says, guess what? Nobody's given up on beating you down. And I want to also point out that Goku is still in his survival instinct state. He has not powered down. So, I mean, like, you know, like the cliche moment where like everyone that's you know that has some sort of transformation they always when they get when they get rocked they usually get knocked out of it goku has still remained in this form so i just wanted to point that out um so now granola oh no i'm sorry gas sends a flurry of key blast this time um and goku tries to or i think he's actually sending them towards goku so it's not that goku's trying to deflect them but he's just trying to endure it all and it looks like Goku's out for the count this time. And now we turn over to Granola and he says, no, not yet. I'm not ready yet. Uh-oh, that's not good. So, but see, but even now, yo, Gas looks, looks way worse. Look at that face. Oh. He says, what a shame. Oh, is that Vegeta? Hey, Vegeta. But yo, how come he's not in his Ultra Ego, though? Crap. So he freaking headbutts gas. Gas gets knocked down. Vegeta goes, any day now, charge up fast or else. And he's like, Vegeta. 
And he's like, let's help him out, oil. All right, so oil and the other one. They try to charge in. Oh, but wait a minute. Here comes Manito. You're not getting past me. Listen, no uh, geriatric green old man is going to stop us. Oh, yo, he put them out. He put them to sleep. He goes, ah, yo, he put them freaking shits to sleep. Oh, night, night. Okay, so they get sent down. They're Z-in. They're Z-zin. So then Manito's like, hypnosis is one of my, <laughs> hypnosis is my one and only combat skill. So I wonder, wait, is this, the, I wonder, I want to know, let me know in the comments, is this the first time we're seeing a Namekian do some sort of hypnosis technique? Because I can't recall right now at the time of this video and reaction, so I don't remember if that happened on Namek when it was, you know, on the way to fight Frieza and everything, so let me know, is this the first time, is this an ass pull, I don't know what you want to call it, but, you know, comments, please, anyway, almost ready, Granola. And then Granola says, I sure am, I've charged up more energy than he could possibly handle. Now Vegeta's still holding on to him, and ooh, he, ooh, this is this blast is definitely gonna do something. So Elix says, "Ha ha ha! You wouldn't firing that blast near the ground would destroy Planet Serial, the home you hope to protect." Is that so interesting? Gas tosses, yeets Vegeta, of course, right? Goku's laid out, but then he goes into his Ultra Instinct, mastered. <gasps> oh my god yo look at this he's doing this yo this is literally from when they did he okay he did this in the last arc he did this against moro i thought that was i thought we were never honestly i never thought we were gonna see this again but the fact that he's doing it now like he's doing this kurama mode shit like that's actually kind of fire so then gas looks back he goes what now and goku holds him in this state and he goes unhand me so this is basically goku's ultra instinct megazord kurama mode that's basically what i'm going yo go <laughs> yo he tosses him in the air gas or granola points up his finger guns he goes damn it my eyes are still damaged my vision's all blurry and then his robot john allow me to assist with aiming oatmeal a bit higher vegeta do it this is your chance says manito goku granola shoot he's like there fire Fires the whole big ass spirit bomb looking freaking gun from the fingers. Ah! And he shoots it. We got a nice little double pager going on. The blast is going, going, going. And Gas at this point is looking older than... Damn, he's looking pretty freaking old. Not gonna lie. I don't know where I was going with that one. But he's looking old, okay? And wow. Look like it like... And it looked like, like all, you know, shining white. Everything's lit up. Elik can't even believe what he sees. And then, you know, the mountains, everything looking okay. But then everything starts to rumble. All right. And then, okay, Goku. And I guess it's like the impact from the blast, I suppose. So everyone's like trying to like brace themselves. Uh, Granola catches Vegeta and Goku by the ankle and wrist. Elik is trying to hold it together. Um, oil and the other chick. Well, what just happened? Uh, where's gas? Granola stands tall. Vegeta goes, has he done it? And Goku says, he sure has. Oh, I don't know. Because Granola looks up at the sky. And he sees gas's body just kind of falling um, into the ground. And then uh, the chick says, gas. And then... Granola confirms, I didn't kill him. He says, I'm not out for revenge anymore. Not against anyone. But Gas will be out cold for a few days. So take him and leave. Never darken our doorstep again. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm not going to lie. I don't know how I feel about that. Because he's been revenge prone ridden whatever this entire arc and now all of a sudden he doesn't he doesn't he, he, he's, he's okay hmm goku says that was wild granola granola says i'm sorry for everything but just hmm, it's a little late for that and goku says eh, eh, right and the last page is a shot of gas just looking completely like just like he's so into the earth from that fall like you can't even really make out like how he looks he looks like a freaking like fried character or like a fried toy or anything like that or something like that and that's the chapter so um immediately my thoughts is okay 
I'm surprised that they defeated him. I really truly wonder if they take into criticism where how people have been voicing how over this arc they have been. And honestly, I'm not going to lie and sit here and say like I speak for all fans, especially those in Japan because Japan readers react differently to how us in North America react. And probably, you know, with the rest of the world, I'm sure. Not to say that they might not ever have similar feelings towards us. So, I again, I don't know how they've been receiving this arc or how they've been taking it. But I have to wonder, like, if they are truly starting to actually take into consideration any other, you know, sources of opinions and feedback. Because a lot of folks have literally been very, very tired of this arc. And the fact that they just defeated Gas within the same chapter and it was granola that did it like no bullshit granola actually did it of course little assist from vegeta little assist from goku but i mean let's think about it when don't they ever have assist when defeating and handling their antagonists i feel like there hasn't truly been an actual one-on-one -on -one, like clear cut fight between two individuals and there was a winner without any sort of outside interference or any type of build. I mean, the one thing I can think of is maybe Goku versus Frieza. But even then, I mean, they all had their hand at Frieza, and then it finally took everyone to just kind of get withered away, which, you know, none of them really did anything because he was just going through all of his forms. And then it finally, it took Goku to bring out his, you know, final form and everything, and whatever, so whatever. But that's the only thing I can think of because every, every other villain or threat after that it took a group effort to defeat them and this is no different i mean even though granola this was his win and this was his his fight to win he got his win but he didn't kill him and i wonder why he had a change of heart and deciding to basically keep him alive rather than just to kill him off like he was you know out for his revenge and everything like that so I wonder how this is going to play into the next chapter because this was chapter 86 and the fact that they ended gas and we didn't really see any kind of a mention or any kind of nod that Elik still has something up his sleeve makes this arc a lot worse than basically how it was delivered. Like I we like think about it. We had all this time where they kept mentioning Frieza, kept mentioning Frieza. And nothing, right? No, 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 no tease, no cameo, no nothings, right? So, like, there's that. And now, we, this entire time, everyone, I'm sure a lot of people have thought that Elik definitely was plotting something in the back burner. I mean, I don't know if his big old plan was just to see Gas whip out this, like, form that essentially was his downfall. I mean, the dude was fighting like he was terminally ill with an old ass body so he had all this power but yet at the cost of deteriorating so it's just like what the hell is going on but either way i mean i'm not even that mad because i'm just glad that it's over because you know we can finally look forward to something else and i you know i can just go back to watching legend for like the a millionth time <laughs> So anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure you guys are leaving a like, sharing, subscribing, hitting the bell for the notifications, and making sure that you guys are taking care of yourselves. May the power protect you. Keep it locked loaded right here on this channel. Stay safe, stay clean, stay inside. I'll see you guys next time.